welcome to another Alander Obsession. And in this one, we're going to be talking about our few of our top tips for Epcot. Let's get straight into it. Number one. Oh, that's 11. One. Number one. Everyone's favourite who's done this, but everyone doesn't do it. Club Cool. It used to be Ice Station Cold or something. Ice Station Chill. Chill Station Zero. So it's stupid. <laughs> Now it's just called, I used to have like a, like a snow truck. Here's the thing, it's sponsored by Coca-Cola. It has free drinks and they're from Coca-Cola's like big beverages from around the world. Yes. And it's a bit of a challenge to go through them all because some of them are rank. Challenging. Challenging, yes. Beverly in particular. Yes. Oh, it's like medicine. It's a spritz. It can only dream of being medicine. Unless you're Italian and apparently it's up your bag. But do it this year because it's closing in September, autumn. It's going for the Christmas season. It might yeah. never come back. So it's because of the renovations that are taking part before the anniversary in October of 2021. Number two. Two, which is Number four. Two. The two. Leave Spaceship Earth until the middle of the afternoon. Don't think as soon as you walk in, I'm going to ride this straight away. But I, do I, it. I, I, yes, make sure you You've do it. You've got to do it, fast pass it or whatever. A lot of the time, it's only a five, ten minute wait. And yeah. they say five minutes and you'll walk straight on. Yeah. Because it just keeps moving. It can be, keep an eye on it. It can be a waste of a fast pass. But it's, yes, even though you see a big queue, it's, it's such a high capacity ride. Yeah, unless you're there in the height of the summer. Yeah, and then it's got, again, going soon. Been yeah. shut down for a long refit. The rumour is it's going to be closed for two years and they are updating a lot of the scenes, especially the um, the technology scene. The technology one is a bit of the, um, the future communications yes. one as well, because right now future communications is a little bit out of date. Number three. Number, that's four, look. I can't do, I can't do sums on my fingers, it seems. Can you do it that way? Number, number three. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Number, number, ah, ah, I'm breaking my finger. Number, number three. Th number three. When the park opens, and if you stay on property and you get a chance for extra magic, even earlier, and get straight on to Test Track or Soaring, those rides fill up fast. Fast passes are gone by like midday. And even now, Soaring is a lot better with the extra screen. Screen, plane. The floaty seating device. Yeah, the theatre. Is it, Even though it's a lot better, it used to be like three hour queues, even though it was an old ride. It's a lot better now it still fills up fast. And that area doesn't handle queues particularly well either. No, what bothers me as well is that the queue is so wide. Yeah. Oh, it's so frustrating because people will try and push past it's you. It's not a fun ride either. It's not a fun queue. No. Sorry, it's not a fun queue. It's a cracking ride, but the bit It's dull. a really frustrating queue. Right? Yeah. Number, Number four. four. Right, that was really loud. Number four. Number four. <laughs> So the World Showcase is truly breathtaking, right? Oh, the number of people I know don't like Epcot, but run through World Showcase, though. It's well, amazing in any time of day, Yeah, but... there are people that just don't go. No, They true. go, they ride a couple of rides, and oh, it's walking around, it's boring. They get halfway around, they get as far as like Mexico or something. And they get the boat over. Yeah. It can be very, very hot in the afternoon. I can understand why people get really frustrated. It's really, really good. And people just, they don't, they, they miss out so much by not doing the World Showcase. I can spend two days there and still I still have stuff there I yeah. haven't seen. I keep thinking people take pictures. Of, Where was that? Some little alley in Epcot yeah. in the World Showcase. But it's for huge. Me, it's the evening. Go in the evening. It's all lit. Even if it means you go to a different park or have, an, have the morning off. Go to Epcot in the evening. Spend a couple of hours. See illuminations while it's still there. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. September, that's going. September. So we're going to have a temporary one called Epcot Forever, but try and get in and see Illuminations before we're at the end of the summer. Number five. Number five. The food at the festivals, it deserves its own tip. It is to not... It is... That's available in Italy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the food festivals, especially wine and dine, are amazing. Yeah. Get yourself a little, either a little book or a couple of bucks aside. It's not cheap. And try everything. Try things you would never normally try. Because if you don't like them, you haven't wasted a lot of money. Yeah. And you can move on to the next one. This is your chance to try sushi. This is your chance to try Argentinian beef, sauerkraut or lobster. All around the world, there are different foods. And little, little bite-sized morsels to sample and try. Honestly, it's one of the best reasons to go at the end of autumn, the beginning of the winter season, is because you get wine and dine wrapping up and you get Halloween and you're going into Christmas. There is so much going on that time of the year. Stop giving us secrets away. It's a secret. Don't tell anyone though. <laughs> what I was going to say though about food and wine is if you are on the dining plan, the snack credits. Oh yes, can they come for the food. Very yeah. Handy. It's one 
the best reasons to buy the dining plan is for, for if you're going during food and wine. Because a lot of people go home with bags of sweets and stuff that they, they cash in at the end and they get all these candies and things. Well, the, the food and wine credits are worth a little more than a bag of sweets. And you can just snack your way around the park on them. So big wins right there. So there it is. That is our top tips for Epcot. And the cheese soup. I'm going to have the cheese oh. soup in Canada. The cheese, cheese soup. soup. Yeah, there's so much good food in Epcot. What do you think? Have you got any tips? Have you got any Epcot must-dos that you always do? Leave them in the comments below. And you know what to do. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, well, you're wrong. But you know what to do. Give us a thumbs down anyway. Like, share. If you like this sort of content, hit that subscribe bell. No, no. <laughs> hit that smash. smush. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that alarm bell. And everything will be awesome. So popping up up there is the last video we put out. And below there, oh, where Kimberly's nose is. The video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. See you in the very next show. It might, it might. YouTube does that. It's weird. See you in the very next show. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.